All right. Let's get on the 49ers recap of the game. All right, so I was at the game. The atmosphere was crazy. The dominant performance, that was great. As far as a fan, that game could have really started out ugly in the beginning. But thankfully, the 49ers were able to capitalize. The 49ers were able to keep on moving. And what stands out the most was the offense was still... Effective as a running team. Jeff Wilson had a breakout game. Jeff Wilson actually played his best game by far this season. He had 109 yards rushing and a touchdown. But what stands out the most is Juwan Jennings. For this time around, he's got another touchdown. He's got three catches for 28 yards. He's performed a lot better than expected. And the thing that kind of makes me laugh about those haters... The same people who said that Juwan James was not going to make the team. The same people who said this guy was not going to be fast enough to make catches here and there. The guy's not perfect, but he's at least a guy that you could depend on the goal line. Like in those goal line situations, that's the guy you should give the ball to. He kind of gives you that Kendrick Bourne type of player where he'll give you a touchdown in the red zone. He's not fast, but he'll he'll get the job done. George Kittle, he's been having a really breakout game since coming back from injuries. He's been playing his best game by far, best season by far. I think he's already going to go over 1,000 yards as I speak. Uh, Debo Samuel is, is the only reason why this offense is moving. He's able to give us our running game a lot better. He's been able to uh, come back as a receiver. He's got even 60 yards receiving this time. The previous weeks, we've been using him as a running back. But he's got another touchdown as a running back. So Debo is very good when it comes down to it. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, he just had one big play. But that one big play got us to move the drive a little bit. So there's nothing more to complain about. And as far as Jimmy Garoppolo, he played solid. He played pretty good. And like I said before, I am going to be critical with Jimmy Garoppolo. And I'm going to give him his, his props when it's all said and done. And a lot of those people, you got your people who like to defend this guy, and you got the people who just don't like him in general. I'm just in the middle, okay? I don't really give a shit who's our quarterback as long as we win games. That's all I give a damn about. If Jimmy's winning games, I'm happy. If Jimmy isn't doing crap, then of course... I'm not happy with that. But when it comes down to it, he's our quarterback, whether we like it or not. So let's get on to the defense side of the ball. We were only, we were able to just give up 13 points to the Atlanta Falcons. That was good right there. Defensive line was able to create some pressure. Secondary was a bit suspect. Secondary was kind of hurting us a little bit. But there was a couple penalties that got called really BS. For example, the only reason why that Arden Key play got called a rough in the passer was because of the Aaron Rodgers rule. If you guys don't remember that rule in general, it started in the playoffs when the Minnesota Vikings uh, uh, defensive end or linebacker Anthony Barr uh, put his body down to Aaron Rodgers and broke his collarbone. That's the only rule that's in play because of that. Other than that, that should have been a sack, no doubt. But then you look at the performance. Nick Bosa's playing at an unbelievable level. He's very effective. But then Arden Key is coming into his own. He's got five sacks this season, and he's on a roll. So this guy's getting better. And the question is, the defensive line had to step up, and it had to be guys like Arden Key, Samson Ebicom, it had to be guys like DJ Jones and Nick Bosa. Bosa has been the one guy who stood out throughout the season. He's got 15 sacks. And then people were wondering, who's going to fill in for Al Shair? Flanagan Foles or Marcel Harris? One or the other. They did okay. But when you look at the secondary, Abry Thomas, man. Abry Thomas was the one critical person that didn't do too good, all right? He had his moments. He had his moments. But, man, he got burned a lot. 
He got burned a lot. That's the one concerning factor about this defense is the cornerback position. I know with Josh Norman, I'm get, he's getting beat from time to time, and he's going to force fumbles. But with Avery Thomas, bro, I'm expecting better from you, dude. I'm expecting better, dude. So you were in you you gotta be able to cover your guy good, bro. Sometimes the way you're covering, you're you're just letting this guy beat you. I don't get it. Like, maybe you need to get somebody like Moses to come and coach you, dude, because you are not in good place to make the play. You're getting your butt whoop in coverage. Kyle Pitts is beating you. Uh, Russell Gage is beating you. Like, dude, you need to get in good position to cover. Don't let them. Don't let the guy get past you like that, dude. You're supposed to be well disciplined and be right towards your, your the receiver. At least be in perfect position. And to to make it more of a nice way to say it, man, I thought you had the interception. I thought you did at one at that point because of your knee. But the ref didn't even overturn it. So I thought maybe he could have got interception. So the one guy who stood out to me was Jaquaski Tart. Jaquaski Tart on that fourth and goal play stood out. And the fact that Atlanta kept trying a couple of times on fourth down, they failed. So we were able to hold the Falcons to at least 13 points. And we were able to score 31 points. As far as that game, as a person that attended the game, the fans were excited. The atmosphere was crazy. Some people may have said it was a boring ass game. I don't know about that. I just like the I, I just like the atmosphere that we were able to get a better football team on the field, a better product. So the offense was dominating. The offense was playing good excitement football. The defense was creating some some good plays and get those turnover on downs and and make some sacks here and there. That's what we were all wanted to see. We wanted to see that product, and I got to see that on a Sunday. So I'm just saying, overall, this 49ers team is starting to show out. So I definitely have to give it at least a solid a solid A. Because honestly, offensively, they look really good. There was a good side of this offense. And then defensively, we gave up 13 points. It was like a bend, don't break type of defense, but we were able to get the job done. So that's all that matters is to get the W. So let me know what you guys think in those comments. You know, as far as Migo, CG Ruthless Sports is out and you already know. Go Niners.